Alright guys, hello, what is up? The Logan Aiders here, welcome back to another video. Today is a very special day as we are taking a look at the Doe 335 B2 Twin Engine Air Defense Strike Fighter for Germany at a 5.7 BR. And oh boy, this plane is a joy to fly. If you fly it right, this is a very unique plane because it's got that pusher puller configuration for the propellers, it's got that unique tail section there, and it is solely meant for boom and zooming. I mean, it can do some ground attack, it can load quite a bit of bombs, but for the most part, you're going to be using this as a boom and zoom fighter. It's really meant to take out enemy bombers, that's why it's got three 30 mils and two 20 mils, which is more than enough firepower to take out B-17s and Lancasters. And if you get a shot on any fighter in the game, it's just going to explode. And the gameplay you're seeing in the background now was an ace game that I got with the Doe 335, and I'm just going to show you how I got those five kills and what I did to play it. First off, B-17 comes in, we're going to use the plane for what it's meant for. 30 mils to the left wing of the B-17, critical hit, he's on fire, his left wing's already damaged, and with that fire he is going down. That is an unrecoverable dive. Below us we have an F-82 trying to climb up to us and get a kill, but we're going to dive down on him, use our superior firepower, and just tear him to shreds. There we go, that's already two kills at the start of the game. P-38 comes in, we do not have the advantage here. He has the altitude advantage, he's screaming in, so we are going to use our top speed to get the heck out of here. And that's something I really should mention about this plane. The top speed for this plane is absurdly fast. This plane is just as fast as an ME-262. Right now, we're just using our top speed to get away from this P-38. He's not going to be able to catch us at the speed we're going at, and we're going to lead him into our friendly forces so they can go head-on against them and hopefully get a kill. However, the P-38 has a really good array of weapons on the nose, and they're very centralized too, so it makes it a very, very good head-on fighter. Because with all that lead going down range and that one centralized stream, it can just tear apart anything that's going head-on with it. However, there's a Focky Wolf up ahead, and it has even more firepower than the P-38. And if the pilot of the Focky Wolf 190 is careful, he can take out the P-38 in a head-on. And so that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to bank right to get closer to the Focky Wolf 190. We're going to lead him into a head-on. And now the P-38 is distracted with that head-on, so we're going to turn right here. We're going to pitch up a bit, and we're just going to try and get on that P-38's tail. If we can get on the tail of anything, it's a goner. There's no way a you can survive shots from 330 mils, I'm sorry. It's, it just destroys everything. The P-38 is so distracted that even though he turned towards me, he would have had an easy kill there, but he's so distracted with that Focky Wolf 190 that I'm able to get on a 6. Here I go, flaps down, uh, shooting a little bit, missed my target, however, there we go, zoom in, fire, boom, he is gone. And at this point, our team has more players than the other team, there's not many of them left, and we've already gotten three kills, so we need to activate a blind hunt here in a second to try and find out where the rest of the people are, because if you take a look at the ticket fleet up top, we're going to lose the game if we don't hurry and destroy the enemy planes. There's a narval that's really smart, and he's going way out of the combat zone, so no one's going to be able to find him and he's just trying to run away so the game will end. It's a bit of annoying when they do that. I activated Blind Hunt so we can see him now. However, there is one more plane that we spotted and it's a Sterling heading straight for me, so I decide to break off from the Starball and head for the Sterling to get that easy kill since there's no one else around except for me in the combat area. So thanks to my speed, I catch up to that Sterling in no time, and before you know it, I'm on a six, firing my 30 mils, and here we go, engaging. 30 mils away, I get a couple of hits on front, but I need to turn in, get on a 6, fire a few more shells, and there you go, aircraft destroyed. He did, he was able to hit my front engine there, and I'm leaking water on the engine. However, I am doing just fine. Even if that engine fails, I'm still going to be able to fly it like 200 miles an hour, because I've got that backup engine in the back, which is something really nice about this plane. The survivability on this thing is absolutely fantastic. So a 109 comes in to distract the uh, narval. He's going into a vertical, he's providing a really good bait, it's an easy kill at this point. The instant that Narval pulled up, it was a GG. All he had to do was really run away and his team would have won the game, but instead he decided to turn fight a 109 which has better maneuverability and then follow him into a bait maneuver and now he can't really do anything. He has no energy, 
I just critted his left wing with a 30 mil. Come into his six, and then I'll finish the game. His left wing is gone. He is crashing. And of course, while he's crashing, he's going to go off on his team and say that his team is garbage, even though he's the one who lost the game. If he just went in the other direction, just a little longer, the ticket bleed would have ended the game. His team would have won, and he would have gone home victorious. But instead, he decided to turn fight against the 109, and then pose himself an easy target for my plane. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this gameplay, make sure to like the video. And if you're not already, consider subscribing. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys, and thanks for watching.